Hello friends, it's me Doom and today we're going to take a look at how best to catch Chinook salmon here in Kanik Creek, Alaska. We're going to be breaking it down into three simple steps just like always. We're going to be talking about location, we're going to be talking about the gear, and finally we're going to be talking about the retrieve. So first things first, let's talk about location. What we're going to need is we're going to need peak hours above half. We're going after uniques and trophies today. Now, they're, it's very specific these times. It's not just the peaks above half. We're actually looking around 8, 7 to 8, maybe 9 a.m. And mm, 5 through 7 p.m. So a day like this or a day like this would be optimal times to catch. Now, one thing you should always do before you do anything is buy a license. I'm going to go ahead and get another one here because mine's almost up. Boop, boop, there we go. Uh, I have been caught fishing without a license in this game, and I had spent like three weeks in Texas trying to make up the money, because you can go in debt in this game for some reason. So we're going to start at the cabin here, and we're going to go all the way out to this sandbar over here and make a left. Walk from the end of this sandbar to the next sandbar. And we're going to be going right around here. Now this is going to be a tutorial for how to catch them with lures. So we're going to be using a lure today. There will be a future tutorial on how to catch them with float tackle so right quick now that we talked about location let's talk about that gear i'm a little bit overpowered on my rod and a little mismatched but this should work just fine i've got a 15 through 42 pound rod the river tech zeus seven foot five inch the Aspira Double Punch 5500, which has a maximum drag of 26, so I went ahead and got some 25 pound Floroline. Why Floroline? Because Floroline is the least easy to see, and salmon hunt with their eyes. Therefore, need something that's hard to see. But the real winner here is going to be this guy, and what I'm going to do is I'm even going to step him down just a little bit. We're going to be using the 5 sixths Bullet Spinner Yellow Beetle. That's this guy right here, number two ot. All right, now that we've covered location and the gear, it's time for the most important part, which is the retrieve. Make sure to stick around to the end of the episode for a little overview. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast out as far as we can. The better the match, the heavier the lure, the longer the cast, but 143 feet, that's not too bad. We're gonna wait till it gets down to about the middle. We're just gonna do a stop and go with speed of three. Three dots, three retrieve speed, real speed, real retrieve speed, whatever you want to call it. That's the one. Now, something to keep in mind, if you get in too close and you get a bite, more than likely it's going to be a pink salmon. And pink salmon just happen to be a little bit more money per pound. They are rather small, but if you're looking to fill up your keep net, and maybe a little added insurance in case you miss the big one, this is a pretty good spot. I can confirm that this does catch both trophies and uniques, this technique and location. You've probably already seen the thumbnail to this, so there's some photographic evidence for you. And before you know it, you'll have your very own Chinook Salmon on the line. Now, the thing to remember with these guys is they're good fighters. Not just pullers, but pushers too. So make sure to keep tension on the lines at all times to prevent them from escaping. I don't think this guy's a unique. We're going to go ahead and catch one more if he is not. But uh, he is definitely a trophy. Thirty-two pound trophy. Now I've seen the uniques go up to sixty-nine pounds. That being said, I can't keep anything that's sixty-nine pounds, which is why I'm using a slightly smaller lure. That being said, if you can keep the larger fish, go ahead and use the larger version of this lure. The one that is a, uh, oh, I think it's one and a half ounce, number four aught, yellow beetle bullet spinner. That is difficult to say. There we go, we've got another chinook on the line. And this one is probably about the same size as the last one, but it is certainly another trophy. 
This is a great way to fill up your keep nut incredibly fast here in Alaska. Now, they're not worth much money per pound. However, if you're just looking to fill her up, then that, this is the way to go. And not to mention, great experience and a good fight. All in all, this is actually a really fun fish to catch. And my line is going nuts. But, uh, yeah. So this is gonna, oh, come on, let's get him in right quick. Remember to keep tension on that line. Very important. All right, well, he's pulling me back out. This guy actually might be a unique. Got him. Oh yeah, 68 pounds. Now this is larger than I can keep, but this just goes to prove that this technique does work. We have a unique, we have a trophy, we have a coho, we have a pink. This method can literally fill your keep net in a, maybe an hour and a half in game. So like what, 20 minutes? Let's go ahead and get a picture with this guy. Uh, let's see here. So this massive fish can be yours by following these simple steps. Right quick, let's take a quick review and take a look at where we are. The location is gonna be the Hunter's Cabin. We're gonna be walking down out to this sandbar, making a left, going to the end of this sandbar and casting this way. We're gonna be using something that can at least handle 25 pounds because that is very important. You saw how hard it was for me to bring something in with a 25 pound setup. So it's a good fight with that if you want if you want, you can go higher, obviously. The star of the show here, the lure we're using, is going to be the Bullet Spinner. Hold on. There we are. Bullet Spinner 5 6 ounce, number 2 aught. You can also move it up to a Bullet Spinner 1, four, one and 1 fourth ounce, number 4 aught. But this is the one that I was using. And finally, the Retrieve. We're just doing a stop and go right in the middle at a retrieve speed of three. That's all for today's fish, however, questions still remain. For example, what's the next fish we're going after? What other treasures are there out here in Alaska? You can find out the answers to those and more in the next episode of On Gaming Guy!